Hello, Internet friends. Snap yet here. I am on my way to do another thing for the Bard's College, which is the other side of Dawnstar, I believe. I think the best thing is to catch the cart again to Dawnstar and go there that way. I am not sure about Winterhold. I could go from Winterhold, I guess. I'm not sure which the, which is the best way to go there. But it's yet again another thing for the college. My parents. You and me. We're the only Finding lost around. instruments. We've yet to get anything from the ammo, have we, to do with Become a Bard? I'm picking up exactly from last time, so I do change my t-shirt, you know, fairly... <laughs> I don't wear the same t-shirt, but, I, you know... Can't change it for videos, can you, if you're doing several videos in a day? It's this guy. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands well, give it to me then, I'm fine. I'm fine Let's with that. I, like that's and, it. Oh, look at that. A note from Viermo. Note from Viermo. I've just left Viermo. Why would he not tell me at the time? Maybe it's a love letter. He can't tell me in front of people. Speak to Viermo. Bardina, there is business at the Bard's College I would like to discuss. Please visit the college. I love the jankiness of these games. I, I know this is a mod, but... These open world games, and particularly Bethesda games, like stuff like this happens all the time. I was playing Fallout 4 yeah, uh, earlier, and well, look at you. If only I have to say, like, I think it, they are the funniest, unintentionally funniest games I've come across. They're funnier than games that actually build themselves as comedy. The amount of janky buggy along. stuff with teleporting characters and all that stuff i, I like it for the work. comedy Welcome value solitude, home of the arts here in Skyrim. Well, all right i was told you wanted to speak to me i'm always nervous about this as well like when a mod uh, adds dialogue and i was talking to one of my subscribers the other day and we agreed it's really important for the grammar and spelling to be correct for you to take it seriously so i'm always a bit nervous the letter seemed okay a well-placed word or a well-placed dagger both can achieve equal purposes ah. do you have a job for me i do perform for layla lawgiver okay i May wonder where that speed you along where is I'm Layla Lawgiver? Student, sir. Does not ring a bell to me, but then I don't retain the names of every NPC in these games. Of a college. Uh, encyclopedic knowledge. I like. I would like to have encyclopedic knowledge, but having encyclopedic knowledge of a fantasy universe no longer fills me with awe. Um, it seems like a slight waste of time sometimes to me. So. Remove it. Uh, okay. Okay, we'll go. So we could go to Riften afterwards and perform for that person. We've got two missions. We've got to find this person's instrument and then go to Riften. So, the order I would like to do that in is to find the flute first and then we'll do some performance. Uh, and it's whether or not I uh, have I got perform ready to go. No, it's not regen yet, so we can't grab a load of experience from the inn. So let's just set up. You, you should have left by now. Nope, sorry, nothing. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little busy at the. Moment. He needs a postman's uniform, sense. doesn't he? So it's Skyrim equivalent of a postman's uniform. Yeah, I'm not having a go at people who know um, lots about the game and uh, any any sort of thing that you're really into it's kind of good um, but I've always had even the stuff that I'm really into and those would be Star Wars and Tolkien primarily you're the one saved the fire fest. you know I've always had a kind of a, I think I have a have a deeply ingrained sense of um, how, what would you call it Stay out of trouble, Elf. Um, Self-awareness self or self-criticalness. And I think growing up and going to the schools that I went to and stuff, 
Um, in the t probably actually probably kind of the time that I went to school. Um, Dawn Star. Now it's really accepted to be like into these geeky things. The way people are into foot. If you were into a football team when I was growing up, you knew everything, all the stats and all the history of the football team. That was fine. But if you knew all the stuff about Star Wars and Tolkien, you get the shit kicked out of you, or you'd be ostracized socially. Things have really changed now. I think with the rise of social media and geek stuff and stuff like the superhero movies becoming mainstream, if you're into geeky stuff, that's cool now. Um, so I, I'm i really aware because you had to keep that stuff secret. And maybe you didn't. Maybe I should have been bolder. But I was surrounded by people who would have made me feel stupid for liking that stuff and talking too much about it. So... About you and I still carry that into later life, I think. I think that's what's going on. So, uh, and I think if you watch a lot of YouTube, you can be mistaken. You can uh, be. Or watch a lot of online media and stuff. You can be, get to the stage where you think everyone thinks that stuff, and then you come across a normal person who doesn't watch geeky videos on YouTube or. Um, follow all the sites about Warhammer 40k and know what the Omnisire is. Then you meet normal people in real life and it's a bit of a shock that um, you're kind of nuts. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think just having a sense of what's important to kind of show off about in a way. Like someone will come along and say, uh, actually, it was Nogloth in the th fifth era of the Third Age who took the Shea of Ra Ramana away from Joglog. And you're like, that person's trying to impress you with their knowledge, but inherently the knowledge is lame. Like, you know that, and you probably don't show off about knowing that. Certain things show off about, but not that. <laughs> Right, uh, we're nearly there. We're nearly going to get this loot. I think my wife has just come in, so I'm just going to say hello to her. I'll put a quick edit in. There, so wife is home. That's good. I've got her in the house. I'm not going to let her out now. Can't trust her. Um, yeah, she's uh, she's come home early because things were not going well in her place of work. So we we'll have a little chat, and then she feels better. <laughs> Part of the function of the of the of the husband, I guess. <laughs> and then I go and kill wolves in games. Yeah, so the geeky stuff that I was talking about before, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? But I'm I'm kind of acutely aware that how can you be someone who's into like computer games, like made up worlds, and still be have be leery of people who are who are into it? Because you're that's not fair, is it? But I suppose there's kind of a, all I would call it is kind of a healthy, a healthy cynicism. Don't, I never take anything too seriously in life, be that, uh, you know, I go, oh, I got a torch, you know, serious things like politics or frivolous things like well, fantasy universes I just, just I've always never taken anything 100% seriously all right so that's me rambling about life let's get on and get this we're gonna have all the instruments back for the college and I'm sure this must I was unsure about the the second quest to find instruments but I'm pretty much sure that this is the last one there won't be another one after this so anything extra we get to do for the bards college is gonna be become a bard there's someone someone is kidnapped up there maybe let me to oh, i don't have any uh, arrows Erinder, could you go and just 
kill that thing. I keep wanting to hit and tell the character to attack. Oh, do I have a level up here? I do. I want to go for health because I have such low armor and defensive skills. We have a buffer of health, that would be good. Yeah, we're still we're still waiting for number 50 to do anything really cool here. So I'm just banking these points. I might get the because it's easy these first two skills in one-handed. Look at that Erendur not attacking. Just let it come straight past. So we can't rely on this idiot. Main sword. Yeah, let's grab everything because we're going to be trying to sell stuff. Should have really got some arrows before I left town. We're just not. I'm just so aware that is this video ten or nine or ten? Um, that we're not doing anything bardic in combat yet. It's all been grinding to get the skills we need. I suppose I am role playing a bard. So it's sticking to the premise in that regard. But until we unlock these skills, we can't do anything when we're out and about in combat. To get the animal and to get the performance in combat, you need to get to level 50 uh, in the ordinator perk points. So. Oh! This is an easy dungeon, that's good. That's what we want. Just running in and killing things at this stage. What level? Are, uh, I know I do this all the time, but... I like to check, because I switch between characters so often. Yeah, I'm going to keep it on Adept, because, as I keep saying, combat and fighting is not the focus of this playthrough. Let's let's kill this guy. Oh, I remember editing a video in this cave a long, long time ago, which was a lot of fun, where I pretended that I used... I think it was this cave. I pretended I'd turn to the dark side. If I remember with this particular video, I will try to put a link in it where it is but uh, at this stage I've done so many videos it's the it's like episode 13 of the first series of Nap the Hunter which is which I call modded for immersion um, other people call Nap the Hunter it's no good Yeah, I've never called him Nap the Hunter, that's what other people call him, but I kind of like it. I persuaded you to assist me when we met in Dawnstar, but I'm glad you did. Thing is, sometimes when you're doing YouTube videos, you learn a little bit about how YouTube works. If I called that series Nap the Hunter, no one would have found it. Because no one's searching for Nap the Hunter on YouTube. But they are searching for modded immersion Skyrim gameplay. So you have to name it something that people are searching for. Or they won't find it. A little bit of YouTube-y stuff there. I not I certainly know there's something I'm missing. Because I, I, I can't get my stuff out to a lot of people. But I know enough to know that. Where's your flipping... Where's your flipping, flipping flipper? Oh, oh I know that's a... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Run towards it, don't run away from it. Run towards it and grab the gem. Let's charge this guy. It would nice be, would be nice to have a charge that I could use. Get into combat, quick! Oh, this guy's tougher. Stagger, stagger. I 
think I just got a health potion recipe, but I'm not going to be doing much potioning. It's no use to me. Okay. So it must be in here somewhere. There's the castle that we're going to assault. Do that with a familiar just to freak them out. Distract them. Let's get in behind them. Oh, that didn't work. It's too slow. Oh, sorry, Erinda. It's alright, I'm watching my health, don't worry. Unless someone hits me really hard, I should be okay. Oh, look at this guy. Items are uh, enchanted are 10% stronger. That's just when you're... That's when you're actually enchanting, which I am not at the moment. I am using an enchanted weapon, however. Which I'm not sure if I've lost my charge on yet. Sword of Frost, I have. i charge it up. Let's use the petty ones first. Petty gems. Maybe that's why it suddenly seemed to go really rubbish damage. Black soul gem. I'm going to trap the heart of a human in there. Yeah, we've got, finally got... I don't know where exactly I picked up all the torches, but suddenly I'd had eight in my inventory. So it's probably that dungeon where I was just running through there. So there's Pantheon's Flute. Reverend Orcish Warhammer. Undead up to level 13 flame. Oh, what's that? Bolt of Wildfire. 10 damage. The flames randomly jump to the target or caster. Ah. Oh. No, 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 no. Random damage. Not interested. Is the damage that you extra damage that you're gonna do to the enemy really worth taking damage yourself? The answer is no. It ain't. So that's pretty straightforward. We got some skills there. We got another level up, I think. Itchy when I'm wearing my uh, big goggles, uh, my big hat, and uh, back to Dawnstar or to Winterhold. Let's go to, let's go to Winterhold just for the hell of it. Oh no, we can't because we don't have a, we don't have a cart in Winterhold so we're going to get stuck there, so we have to travel back. I don't want to get too, too confident running in. Because I could encounter, encounter something that's going to hurt me more. Cinematic kills. Nice. Right. All levels. I'm going to be at 200 health soon. I, I would quite like to just go straight up to 200 health. And... Is there anything I I don't like the oddly system and a cost of power attacks with one-handed weapons by 15 points. That's pretty good. Um, let's see where we're up to with light armor because I was going to get. But if you're wearing all light armor, armor rating of light armor increased by 25% if wearing all light armor. So let's just check that I am. And if I'm not, I need to work on that. So circlet is your headgear, gloves light armor, the boots are light armor and the radiant raiment clothes also count as light armor. So just check. So I'm on 40 at the moment. Let's see when we get this skill if it goes up. It should go up to about 50 something. Hopefully. But they're both mods. Uh, the mods add the armor rating so I'm not sure if they'll synergize together. Well, I was on minus four before, so I don't know. I don't know. We, we've we got it anyway. Who knows if it's helping. 
I need some extra perk points for when I do get to... Oh, hold on. Don't know whether to just run here. I'm not supposed to be just killing wild creatures. Let's go. We could get flame cloak here. grab this Gizra's necklace. I, I'm, I'm not sure I want to pick it up because it gets stuck in your inventory forever, but go, flame cloak. see if we can learn it. Books. Books. I know. Imp stolen wheat. Surprised the speed at which I'm going up levels now. I'm surprised that I am still the level I am, because it seems to have really picked up speed. So my plan is to just go and see what performing for this le uh, person in Riften does. So we'll catch the boat to Solitude, then then the cart to Riften. At some point, when I'm in the mood, I'm going to just wander from town to town, playing some inns. But for this particular episode, I want to get those two things done. Um, a, because that's just the mood I'm in, but B, I'm just intrigued what the mod quests give you and how they work. So I want to know that as soon as possible. Then I kind of know what to expect from each of them. Let's have a little bit of a vape. They're still playing Skyrim after all this time, but I, uh, I have been playing a lot of Fallout 4. I finally completed the game. Uh, spoilers. Mm, I'll, I'll just quickly talk about it. Come back in a minute. So I did the... Uh, railroad and destroyed the int uh, institute and the brotherhood in the in the that that's what I decided to do. I uh, can take you to any port on the coast. I'd like to hire your boat. Where Let's are go. you headed? Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. I feel uh, and I never got to that the point that I've I've the point I never cleared it before Fallout Four means that I had issues with the game and I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Having gone back to it and gone through and uh, done the main quest line, I, that hasn't really changed my opinion. I think there are still lots of problems with that game. And I, uh, what was I feeling towards the end? I was feeling like I, I got so kind of I felt, I felt like recording because I got to the point where I was so frustrated with the main story taking so long. I was running around the institute in my underpants and like doing doing the main quest line and talking to the board of directors in uh, completely naked because I was just I was just starting to get frustrated with the game at that stage. I, I don't know if it's paced particularly well. Uh, particularly toward, as you're spinning towards the end of the game. It's like, come on now. Uh, so that was frustrating me. And then once it, it was done, I think the nature of the game, because it's Climb so... And we'll be off. Because it is such an open world game. I might have to stop and get myself a pint at Blackbriar Mead while I'm in I, don't, I just feel like what the, the destruction of the insta... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do spoilers. So what happens at the end? I don't know if it has as much impact as it should, really, because you know that it that the world is still just going to return to the world and still be doing the same thing. So there's that. Uh, you know, and I'm really waiting for the combat to become fun. I wanted to. I wanted like stomping around in my power armor and having all the weapons. And I've yet to feel like the combat 
is that much fun it's it's like it's either stupidly hard and things kill you too quickly or you encounter a load of stuff that you kill too easily the balance seems to be off uh weird weird uh, so we got to play for this it's like a a private private performance for this person so they're not in riften uh I probably took the probably took the thing off the main thing thing thing. Uh, return Pantheus to yeah. So Layla Lawgiver, she's it did say she was in Riften. Ah, she's um, is it the Yarl? Please help me. I'm starving. Go away. Tis tis the Yarl. Mr. Vale Keep, we're going here and play for this woman. Uh, and then I'm going to try something with Erendur, see if we can get him where he's going. Hello. I would ask that you Welcome to Riften, traveler. I'd like to perform for you, okay. my heart. Just this once. It's good. Uh, you can go through and find those lines of dialogue and put them in when you're modding. So let's do. To play a little a little ditty i'm going to play the one that uh, has erinder playing with me our hero, our hero, oh a that's the song I must remember number four is not you, not the I one tell you the dragonborn comes with a voice wielding power of the ancient nord art just make sure i don't believe, look at her lips when i'm doing this the dragonborn comes <laughs> Empire. Just channeling it into her brain. Foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed. And, and the legend, legend yet grows. grows. You know, you, you know, know the know dragonborn the comes. Dragonborns come. yeah. Good. Tell Did Viema you what you learned. Sort of official business here? Right. Tell Viema what you learned at. Layla Lawgiver's Court. Uh, I don't know if I've learned very much at all, really. Mara protect us both. Need to trade some things with you. Running out of room, eh? I'll be glad to help. If I give you something to wear that is not what you are wearing at the moment, will you switch out your robe? I give you that. Oh no! Do I wear the? Do I wear the robe over my... Oh, it's a cloak. Ah, silly. Green, green hide cloak. Put that back on. Alright. This is more complicated than I thought it would be. Um, I don't think he's going to wear this. If. No. He would have put that on if... I'm ready. Let's if continue. Overrode something. Just waiting until I kill a bandit and give him some light armor. I don't think it's going to work though. I don't think the default clothes are ever really revealed on the NPC. So you're gonna buy something. You're gonna stare all day. Just what you see here. You got any really cheap? Let me sell all this stuff and I'll see if I can. Atlax. And I'll see if I can buy some. Keeping all the cloaks for the sake of fashion. Yeah, that's no use. Sell so much stuff. Daggers. Sell all my daggers. Um, Red Mountain Flower, Restore Health, Reverend Orc, Orcish Warhammer. I might sell that because I'll get good money, uh, I'll get good experience from it. Robes of Minor Conjuration, Ruby. Oh, she's run out of gold. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness knows I can be starving. 
Well, there's another general store here. That's one thing I do appreciate in Fallout 4, that you can I buy and you can sell your gear to any any vendor will buy it. Oh, this is the wrong one, isn't it? Yeah. This is the Meadery. That one. Meadery. It's the Pond Prawn. Welcome to the Pond Prawn. Hello. Come on in, take a look around. Welcome to the Pond Just got some, some stuff for sale. Junk. Me? I call them treasures. But right down to the bottom because we're nearly through all this stuff. So, a, a steel dagger we need to sell. We need to sell that. There we go. 45. We're getting there. We're nearly there now. Uh, just see if this guy's got any cheap hide helmets we've got. Nowhere's got just a chief, mm -hmm. um, a cheap cuirass or breast armor, so I can just try this. There's one on her table there. If, if I could go invisible, I would just on, nick it. Everything I've got on display, really. Hide armor. There you go. 136. Well. I resent this, but I'm going to have to... Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Mara protect us both. I'm just curious. Running out of room, eh? I'll be glad to help. Should technically put this on. Hi, Dharma. Is he wearing that? I'm ready. Let's continue. Right. Well... If I wanted to get him to wear something, then I need to add a mod. And I'm not sure it matters that much to me. Let's continue. Can't you bother me at my armor stand in the market? Or are you that desperate for training? Take a look. Sell these back. Get a little bit more gear. I don't know. Maybe because he's a mage, he's not going to take off his mage robes uh, without good reason. Um, so it might need to be some like enchanted armor that could potentially make him switch out his mage, mage robes. It would help if I knew what his mage robes, the stats were, so I could make sure I'm giving him something that's technically better than what he's got. But... I can take you to any I can't the see that. Where do you want to go? So that makes that a little bit complicated. Climb and doesn't back, it? and we'll be off. Okay. Sun feels good, huh? It does. Why am I wearing a tattered cloak here? I want to wear nice something. Like I say, I don't. I mean, um, companions are not my focus in this playthrough, but I feel like if. If we keep going and it becomes a thing that I'm interested in doing, I could add AFT and like have a band. Yeah, that's better. That's not as ragged. You know, a band of elves. If we got like uh, one more, we got wood elf, a dark elf. If we could get a high elf companion. And start a band. Know what persuaded you to assist That'd be good. Dawnstar. Might do that. Glad you did. They were the bow, eh? I'm a sort man myself. Well, I do when I've got arrows, but I've not had arrows for ages. Come on, let's go inside. And see what VMO does here. Curious to see? You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire. Sorry, That's not interested. That's what everybody said. If you change your mind and decide to join the fight before it's too late, talk to Ezron at Fort Dawn Guard. Yeah, we'll do. Do. I don't think I'll be doing that. Someone else's problem, that. This Dragonborn everyone keeps talking about. Let him sort it out. It's been my honor to perform a uh, VMO, I have information for you about performing for a Yarl. You and me. Well, you might like to see this poem that I wrote. Always good to see a fellow bard. Here, a little payment for your troubles. 
which is shame we can't add lip sync there you just i know the how difficult that can be uh, so i just got 200 gold do you have a job for me i do perform for layla lawgiver again changed my mind about it see if we can get another one do, I do you have a job i do Form for Skald in Dawnstar. May song speed you along. So that's a nice little re uh, repeated quest that you can do for some extra gold. I don't think I got any experience there. Do I still not have my... There's my perform skill. So arms or armor you need. See and get a little bit more experience here. We got warm food, warm drinks. Warm beds. And a bit Welcome more gold. To winking skeever, friend. So I'd like to perform. So we'll do two do two do the experience Games performance. More to be done. And then the bard become a bard performance for some gold. And then I'll go and get some more levels. And we'll be close to level fifty. I'm just gonna buy some training. A little bit discordant here. It's your five. Feel like we didn't get very much for that at all. Um, Feel free to I wonder if it requests. counts. You know, like I've used that different skill. You need a good rumor or two. No. I think I can oblige. I didn't think it would. Uh, sounds like sky. I like this. These ones. So, number one and... Let's just double check that this guy is going to play with us. Okay. That one. There, 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 there. It's wonderful. We drink to our youth, yeah. to the days come and gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore. Talking what about we have. adding those companion mods has really made me think I, that's something I might like to try. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every, every one, one of, of us dies. dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you kindly for your attention. Divine smile on you, friend. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. What have you got for sale? I'm looking for work. I'm done. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Money, money, money. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. No, it's okay. I'm just going to go and get my levels. We'll see how close that gets us to level 50. That looks like a bardic. That looks like Lilette. Is it? Feel free it's, it is Lisette. There's nothing like Lilette. Song Isn't that a sanitary product for ladies? Crowds I'm not sure Lilette. Manner. There's a fine home. Lisette. Lisette. Where's the guy who trains me? Oh, the fun part, wandering around looking for random NPCs. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. The upstairs. What time is it? 11am. So, uh, Art College should be pretty jumping at this time of day. Where is everyone? Oh, they're all musicians, aren't they? They're still in bed. 
<laughs> this time, let's try the Did this guy, of John. I will demonstrate for the class. We drink to our youth. Oh, Pantia. I've got this. I recovered your flute. Sorry to interrupt. I recovered your flute. Wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Money? I don't have any money to give you. All right, more. But I can show you a few tricks. More skills. Winterhold wizards. are long dead, but they lived wonderful lives. I have no sad stories to tell. Pretty good. Perhaps one day I'll visit their resting place. Why am I not getting any more level progress there for this? Oh, maybe it's all counted at the beginning. Did I get any speech there? I feel like I didn't. Now but you can say you've met the most talented bard in all Skyrim. It's not you, is it? Your battles, friend. Lady Atia says my voice is second. What have I got on? My quest at the moment is to perform for the, for Skull. Me short. Right. Okay, so no one's here. Just need to keep an eye out for the Youngest right guy. Bard at the Bard's College. Anything I can do for you, I will. No one's still watching this burning man. He's not going to be burning in this kind of weather. Strong rain. Did I keep that extra gear for Radiant Raiment? Maybe I didn't buy it. For, you know, for this dude, Erinda. Erender. This is the guy, is it? Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. I bet they were. Ah, it's this guy. Yes. My position, Dean of History. Well, you've come to the right place. Right, train me twice. 46, 47. We are close. We're getting close. Well, if you're still sticking with this playthrough, I appreciate it. When I talk about doing things longhand, I'm not joking. I'm really doing this, taking my time with this. But three levels off. Got to decide what to do next. And I've got to decide whether to mess around. Potentially screw things up by adding a companion mod. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Do like and share the video if you get a chance. That's, I hugely appreciate that. It's just spat on my desktop there and that's the quality and the kind of incident that you're getting from these videos it's a laugh a minute it's fun a minute so i appreciate you joining me for all of this fun